Hello everyone, this is the last part set. It is in metric, so stand apart English and we we'll create part. It is just from the front of you, you can create all the parts from the front of you. You can just create start to the sketch and then create rectangle. The maximum width is 4.25 and the maximum height is 2.75. Okay, don't forget we can add this cut. So this cut is like this from here. Okay, like this until here, and here we have another cut. Okay, so we can split, 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 and split. Okay, what's the dimension between here and here? One point two. What's the dimension from here to here? 1.5. What's the dimension from here to here? 0.749. Okay, so this is our part. I will check if I can make a trim. It's okay, no problem. We'll at least with this part. We finish. We can extrude. See, we can extrude only this part. Okay, what's the value? Total value 1.75. 1.75. Okay. This is the total value. Now we do this cut, this cut, this chamfer. I will leave it at the end, and I will do this cut, this cut, and this cut. Okay. Start with the sketch from the top. Okay. Here is the center for the radius, which is this radius, 4.5. Okay. I will create a circle. It has a radius 4.5 because this is a radius. I will multiply by two. Okay. So create diameter 9 Then create line like this And this line has to be 1.75 from the edge From here to here 1.75 Okay Now trim The remaining of the line Use constraint Coincident constraint To put the circle on this point So this circle and this circle will be like this At this point, at this point now transfer this line to construction line because I want to cut and I don't want to have different profiles or different contours. Now cut down one. Okay, so the value will be one. Okay, start to the sketch again. Now, now I will use the same radius. By the way, if you don't know how to use the same radius, as an example, you draw your circle here. Okay, like this. You can use coincident this constraint so, like this. Okay, coincident, and we'll give you the same radius. Now the radius will be 4.69. Okay, 4, 4.69 multiplied by 2. Finish. We'll add cut. We'll do cut down 0 0.1, 0 0.31. And cut. Okay, now we'll start with the sketch again. We'll draw using the same the circle again. This rate is 3, so I will make draw 6. Okay, finish. And 0 0.31 also. So again 0 0.31. Okay. So here we get our shape. Start with the sketch from the side. We'll draw here the slot like this. The dimension from this edge, see from this edge, which is already above this one, so 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.12, okay, and the dimension from here to here, from here to here is 0 0.5, and the dimension from here to here, 0 0.751, like this, okay. You can cut until this edge, like this. You can do extrude, cut till this edge. Okay. So because you can see the hidden line, they are in here. So like this. Okay. Okay. Now, chamfer. You can use the second one which is distance and degree so you will do like this from the back 
you will see I want this face and then this distance okay I want the distance to be 0 0.62 and the degree to be 30 that's it you will ending up having this chamfer okay this one now start to this sketch to make the hole here okay you will draw a point because this is counter core you draw a point this point has distance from here to here 0 0.75 0 0.75 okay we will finish we will add counter core this counter core is 0.75 see 2 that means 2 the circles 0 0.5 the bottom diameter 0 0.75 the counter board diameter the depth of the counter board 0 0.81 so this is correct okay for this hole I can click one sketch here draw a circle from here to here finish extrude this cut up okay then I can create another sketch here create another point here and then the distance from this point to this point 2.5 as you can see here another counter bar that's it let's color this part red is ok Usual style with shadow. Let's okay. Save. Let's rename it as Z. Z. File new dimensions. Add the base. Projected from here to here to here to here. Then add the necessary dimensions. Okay. So like this. From center to center. From here to the center. This value. The chamfer. The distance. This value. This distance. This distance. From here to here. From here to here. The total distance this one this one from here to here if I forget any dimension please let me know type in the comment I told you don't apply dimension for the hidden line but in this case this is the only way you can show it by the way in order to avoid intersecting dimension you can put these lines down like this and then move this to here and move this to here like this okay in order to avoid having intersection for the dimension that's it